Welcome everyone to another Rocket League custom maps tutorial. I am Balanced Waffle, owner of Community Workshop Games, and I am providing you an update on the easiest way to play workshop maps either solo or online with friends. There will be different sections, so feel free to skip to whatever section you're needing help on. I recommend Rocket Plugin for solo maps and Rocket Host for groups. So let's start at the beginning. Bacchus mod is the most important thing that you need for this to work. If you don't have it, just find the link in the description and download it. I moved mine into a documents folder, but it doesn't really matter where it's moved to. The .zip file here means that it needs to be extracted. Small files, you should be able to just right click and extract all. Alternatively, you could also get WinRAR. Now you can run Bacchus mod setup.exe. More info, run anyway, click yes, yes, next, install. This is optional, I just click no. Finish. Now you have Bacchus mod. Your next step is to get workshop maps. USA2.rocketleaguemaps.tk Why I recommend this website over alternative methods is because this way will automatically download all the files you need, like the textures, and it'll place them in the correct folder for you. But before you can go downloading maps, scroll down and click Download Rocket League Maps. Save. And now you have a setup.exe. Let's install it. Double click. More info. Because this is coming from an independent publisher, your computer is just making sure that it's from a trusted source. I can guarantee you that this is safe. You can click Run anyway and install. You're then going to get a black box and another thing pop up like this. Click yes. And then the black box will say waiting for Rocket League to start. You can go ahead and start Rocket League. If you get ambiguous package error like this, don't worry. You can bypass this by clicking OK on all the boxes for RL to start. I clicked exit because the map downloader finished installing. Press enter to close. Now you're all set up and can start downloading some cool maps. Just find a map like Ecrase's awesome Rumble 2.0 map and click install with Rocket League Maps. Now we can see it says RL is not running or BM is not injected. Okay, so just make sure you start both of those up. I have them up now and can click enter. This was running behind RL, so I just opened it so you can see the map has finished installing. Feel free to close me at any time. Click enter once again. I am now going to show you a quick way of getting new plugins within Rocket League. Press F2 on your keyboard to open Vacus Mod. Go to Plugins tab. And up here on the top, you see Plugin Manager Beta. Open it here. I suggest getting Rocket Plugin and Rocket Host. The easiest way to get them is to install by ID. Type 26 for Rocket Plugin and 216 for Rocket Host. Just plug them in here and click Install. You'll see them pop up along the left side. I'm going to start with Rocket Plugin. Open Rocket Plugin GUI. This pops up. I usually check off both of these, and now you can find all your maps in the drop-down menu. Just type in whatever map you want to find. You have the number of players, all the mutators, 
And the first one listed is free play, which is great for rings maps or dribble challenges. Don't worry about team settings or advanced settings, just go ahead and click host. And I'm in. And if you haven't tried this map yet, you're in for a treat. So the reason why I suggest Rocket Plugin for solo, it's because it's very easy to set up and doesn't require a public server. But if you want to play with friends, it's a little trickier. For multiplayer, I recommend Rocket Host. It's right here and you can open the GUI. What Rocket Host does is it provides you an external server that everyone can connect to through an IP and port. And you can create it basically the exact same as Rocket Plugin. Just a heads up that Germany doesn't work at the moment. The creator JetFox is covering all of this out of his own pocket and it's just a little bit too much. So for now, it's just going to be US East or any other ones that pop up after this video is released. Feel free to check out his Patreon and support him. If you'd like more servers, it would be great to see an EU server. So same thing as before, just click both of these, find your map. I have two downloaded right now. I'm just going to click the first one. Eight players, sure. I put in bots, but they actually don't work on this map. So disregard that. And then you can add all your mutators. And down at the bottom, you can even enable RL lobby. I'll leave explaining that for another time because I don't want to crowd this video, but it's pretty useful for joining open lobby public servers. So I'm going to go ahead and make my own server, click request. It says account created, resend server request. Click it again, and now you can see on the right side, this IP and port has popped up. This is what you're going to send to your friends for them to join. They can plug it in, join a local game, and then you all click join and you're in. So just like that, it's super easy. You can see spectating too. This is the bot that created the server and this is me. So with this, now all your friends can join and you can play workshop maps together. So another thing on the website, if you click on a map that says this map has not been updated to Rocket Host servers, it means that you can't play on this map through Rocket Host yet. We have to manually add each map to the servers and sometimes new maps can take a few days. And this brings me to the second method for playing with friends. This method uses the first plugin called Rocket Plugin, but now requires you to use a third party program called Hamachi. Some firewalls will block this program, so you may need to whitelist it. The difference between the multiplayer methods is that Rockahost is running off an external server and Rocket Plugin is running off a server on your own PC. And Hamachi is used to hide and protect your IP while providing a new one so others can plug in and join. But to not have this tutorial too long and complicated, I'm just going to include links to these things. You can find videos on YouTube on how to use Hamachi and how to whitelist it. Furthermore, if you'd like more detailed explanations or more tutorial videos on specific methods, please let me know in the comments and, and subscribe to get updated on new videos. I also have a dedicated server called Community Workshop Games, where there are tons of members willing to help you if you get stuck. We also run workshop related events and tournaments on a monthly basis, like this world record event happening July 31st. We will probably be reaching over 100 Rocket League players on a single map, and there are tons of community figures joining us too. We are also doing this all for a fundraiser for the National Kidney Foundation. This is just some of the members that are online right now. To finish up this video, Thank you for watching all the way through to the end, and thank you so much to those who subscribed and joined the Discord. I hope to see you online in some workshop maps.